The NBA will celebrate the league's 75th anniversary this year, but don't blow out the candles on that cake just yet. There's a problem. The anniversary is bogus. The league has its own birthday wrong, and here's why. The NBA was the result of a merger between two rival basketball leagues back in 1949. One league, the NBL, or National Basketball League, was formed in 1937. The other league, the BAA, or Basketball Association of America, was founded in 1946. But the NBA as we know it now did not exist until that merger, which took place in August of 1949. Bill Himmelman, the NBA's first and only historian, says the NBA's 75th anniversary is, quote, as bogus as the 50th anniversary was. Seems like not a big deal, but there's a Syracuse connection here that's being swept under the anniversary confetti. Elmira native Leo Ferris, who was the general manager of the Syracuse Nats, was the guy who forced the BAA to the negotiating table for the merger in the first place. He's also the guy we credit for the 24 second shot clock. And he also oversaw the signing of black players in the NBL at a time when the BAA maintained the color line. The NBA almost certainly would not have happened the way it did without Leo Ferris. The BAA would have loved to have just run the NBL out of business, but they couldn't. Leo Ferris and the rest of the owners in the NBL were outsmarting the BAA at every turn. The BAA couldn't sign Dolph Shays coming out of New York University. Leo Ferris finagled the signing of getting Dolph Shays to sign with the Syracuse Nationals. They, the smaller league, outbid the big city BAA for a guy like Dolph Shays. Folks, it's time to recognize the 1949 merger as the true birthday of the NBA. Maybe the NBA can put those 75th anniversary t-shirts on hold until 2024. And let's put Leo Ferris into the Basketball Hall of Fame while we're at it.